And your brain is the most powerful weapon. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, yeah, it's great. We're up to date. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death, real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to. You may have a best friend you're going to. But there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're you got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. What, it, what existed for me was, okay, man, how am I going to make this work? And all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished. That's all I heard back in those days. You got to work hard. You got to work hard. I'm not getting how to... I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the f in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't. I got to write out every thing I do. And then write it out again. And write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it. I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. My biggest advice to give everybody in the world is like I say, we live in an external world. Everything is, is you got to see it, touch it. It's, it's, it's external. If you can for the rest of your life live inside of yourself, stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual, nigger, everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you got to flush it out. You got to just be whoever the hell God or whatever the hell you believe in. If you believe in nothing but yourself, I don't care what it is. You got to take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. And, and I'm not saying don't believe in God or what you believe in, but right now for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not going to find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. But if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. So you gotta go start your journey. And the journey starts with you finding, why the hell am I here on this planet Earth? Why am I here? And if you don't know that, you will live the rest of your life searching always asking the question, why? It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. We don't even know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says, no, you just say, this is what we do. Is what we do now because to get to where you want to go the amount of pain involved I'm not saying physical I'm not saying you got to break yourself off the amount of mental pain of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go is gonna be it, it there's gonna be more times you do something that that you don't want to do that's your new norm so then it's like breathing and then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look, man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80 percent is suffering, pain, failure, 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 self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you got to go through all of this shit. 
So a lot of us know that. I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I got to go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, the, in between is not fun. So we decided to live over here. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. You know exactly, it's, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing I talk about in that book that's a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of, of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says, no, you just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you got to break yourself off. The amount of mental pain of how many times you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go is going to be... It, it, there's going to be more times you do something that, that you don't want to do than you are going to want to do it. And that's, that, that's your new norm. So then it's like breathing. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. So if you really want it, you realize what trying is and what trying is not. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a hard thing to understand. I hate to run. Well, why do you run if you hate it? What are you talking about? I don't want to take showers and eat either. I hate that too. That's life, man. It wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. But if you can get through doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people understand. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one so I can handle what life is going to throw at me because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just going to crumble and you're good for nobody. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. And that's why so many people are lost when I start talking. You have the right. You're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior and I would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas, good on you because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. Your mentality changes. I may not live. You gotta accept that. And that's the mentality you have. And that's what makes you a warrior. If you're scared to die, you're a bad warrior. I hated jumping out of airplanes. I hated shooting guns. I hated the job as a Navy SEAL. But I did it because I wanted to change myself. Everything I do, I'm not really comfortable doing. But that's with life. If you're choosing to do something, attack it. Because they're gonna remember you as not attacking it. So I want to be remembered. You can hate me, but one thing you can't say about me, I didn't attack it. So that's the mentality you have. If you're gonna do something, you might as well attack it. Because you can do it anyway.